The first time I saw a Marseille, I must have been 10 or 12, and I watched that fantastic documentary, Casting for Gold, with John Daly and Paul Boot, and I couldn't believe the size of the fish we were catching out of a relatively small river. And it was up on the Ganges, in northern India, and I thought I would love to do that one day. Well, many years later, I got that chance. But since then, we've been on a few trips, but I haven't quite had that dream fish yet. I've had friends catch some amazing fish, I've had some great experiences, but I've yet to hook that really big Marcia. And I just hope on this trip, I get that chance. Fish are so strong. Our Marseille adventure began in New Delhi. After a nine hour flight from London, we still had a two day journey ahead of us. It was 10 years since our first trip to the Himalayas and I was excited as ever with the prospect of doing battle with the legendary Marseille. We 
We were soon boarding the Shutabdi Express to Northern India. We were heading for the Saryu River in Uttarakhand, Northern India. The Saryu is a large spring-fed tributary of the mighty snow-fed Kali River, which makes the border between India and Nepal. As the monsoon rages from June to September, the Saryu floods. During this time, the Marcia migrate from the Kali into the Saryu River to spawn. After the monsoon, the Saryu River levels drop. This is the best time for catching the big Marcia. Timing is critical though. Too late and the big Marcia will have dropped back into the Kali, making their location much more difficult to find. On this trip, I was going to meet up with my good friend Kainu and his wife Elona. They were arriving on camp three days before us. After six hours on the train, the Himalayan foothills were in sight. We had arrived at Kathgodham, an old timber depot, the last station on the Indian railway line. Thank you. I had forgotten how impressive the Himalayan foothills were and it felt great to be back in northern India. At 6,500 feet, we arrived at our hotel for the night. After an early rise, I contemplated what may lie ahead for our week's fishing. We were on our last leg of our journey, a seven hour drive through some breathtaking scenery. Three hours into the journey, we got a glimpse of the high Himalaya, the Nanda Devi.
after three days of travelling, we had finally arrived at the Sariu River. We were meeting up with Bobby, Himalayan Outback's head fishing guide. Bobby! <laughs> How are you? Fine, sir. Good afternoon. Good to see you. Good to see you, yeah. I had first met Bobby ten years ago when he was a young boy on the beautiful River Geary. He showed signs back then of a keen fisherman. Now, at 24, Bobby had become a very experienced Marseille fisherman with some legendary captures to his name. This included a world record Marcia on the fly. I can't believe there's a monkey climbing across it. Although the Himalayan Marcia can be caught on bait, the true way of catching them is on lures, or the fly. Typically the lures used are in the 2 to 6 inch range, such as spoons and plugs. Finally, the camp was in sight. It was great to meet up with my good friend Kainu. Two days before we arrived, Kainu and his wife Ilona experienced some fantastic Marcia fishing. Ilona had the fight of her life. She landed a personal best Marcia of £29. Kainu had a fantastic Marcia of £41, with many other fish into double figures. I was keen to get off the mark, and it wasn't long before I had a slamming take on a silver spoon. Not a big mass here, but a great start. Next morning, decision was made to move to the next camp. So 
them to, I would land the fish, and the fish swam straight at me, and it had one treble in its mouth. Managed to get the other treble all the way into my knee and started shaking his oh. head. I was screaming like a little girl. Then check the Thanks for that, Stu. <laughs> yeah, stop here. No, no, only Stu, sir. Not all here, very close. You see bridge? Downstream of that bridge. He's fishing all the way down this one. Hello. <laughs> Shade. The Sariu was dropping and clearing fast. Not a good sign as the big Marseille would be dropping back into the Kali. We were heading for the famous junction where the Sariu meets the Kali River. Oh, look at that here. You see the leper bug mark? This is fresh, huh? The blessing at the temple with the Baba had worked its magic and I was soon into a good Marcia. These fish are just cold, they can just hold in this back water. This fish is just here. Look at the size of the mouth on that. Yeah, pull in. Are you doing it? You just go around and pull it in a bit. When he's ready, he's not ready to go. Well done, Canoe. Yes, nice fish. Oh, thank you, sir. You're welcome. Cheers. <laughs> good, good one. Look at the size of the mouth on it. 
There we go. A lovely Himalayan Marcia caught on the junction. What a fish. We knew the big fish had moved back into the Kali. As we arrived once again at the junction, India angler Sarab was playing a big Marcia. <laughs> After seeing that beautiful Marcia of 42 pounds, I asked Bobby about some of his recent legendary catches on the fly. Right, Bobby. Yes, sir. You're the head guide of the Himalayan Outback, and I've had some fantastic fishing with you already this week. You really know your stuff. But we're at this stunning location here. Can you tell me a bit about it? Because you caught a very special fish, didn't you? Yes, so you know, that two river here, one is called Makali and one is Saryu. Yeah. 
So I caught fish, other side on the Sariu, you see on yeah. temple pool, near yeah. the temple pool. Yeah. But that big fish, I hook up on the Sariu yeah. because uh, I hook up on before monsoon. Yeah. So now, you know, all change after monsoon because yeah. river change all after monsoon. Yeah. But I hook up there and I standing on the other side, you see rocks other side. Yeah. Yeah. And my fish all the way going down on the Mahakali's tail out. And this is on a fly rod? Is this, this, is, is this the rod? Yes, my this is my Reddington 8 bait, yeah. 9 feet long. I have uh, 300 meter uh, backing line and yeah. 90 feet fly line, so yeah. almost all finish. And it just ran all the way down? To yes, the top of the fish road. going on the Mahakali's tail out other side. Even. Yeah. So, oh, and what um, leader did you, you have on the I, end? I used a 20 pound leader. Yeah, yeah. And you've got, are these the flies? Some of yes, the... I have a fly. So I caught on uh, this fly, yeah. 55 and a half on this fly. Yeah. So I mean, that, look... is a, that is a huge mass here. Yeah. 55 and 55 a half pounds. Are, yeah, that's a big fish. After that, yeah. after that big fish, I'm really happy. Are you saving this fly then? You're not going to use it again? No, I'm not used. I'm going to make a bigger for my house, but I'm not a uh, Display. Make a display. I think yeah. I'd do the same with that. <laughs> Thank no, you. No, that's fantastic. So you and like it... that flies? Yeah, no, very good. And, and you... also, I make that fly. Yeah? You yeah. made that. Oh, that, that makes it so special. It's very nice, yeah. And uh, is this fish, is, is it a world record on, the, on a fly? Yeah, that's a world record fish on the fly. Wow. Yeah. So before I make uh, 2015 also, yeah. this fish I caught to 2015. Right. I caught two fish 2015, but 154 yeah. and 155 and half. So this is my 55 and half. Right. Wow. So before that two fish, I caught one big fish, uh, 46 pound yeah. on fly 2014. Yeah. yeah. So before that fish, I hook up. On the Giri River, yeah. I hook up uh, 40 pounds on fly. Wow, that's some serious... Because you wouldn't think a, f a 50, 40 pound fish would want to take that. You'd think yeah. they'd want the big low, but you, you've proven they'll... I guess they're like little chiller. Yeah, little that's fish. a very small fly, you know, and yeah. I tie that all fly, so... Yeah, brilliant. So, well, know. that's fantastic, Bobby. Um, I'm just... You're a legend, you've caught some amazing fish, and uh, I just hope I get a chance to hook something half the size of that. We've had some great fishing so far. No, uh, thanks, sir. You yeah. you also trying to for big fish. You know, yeah. Maser fishing, you know, sometimes nothing, and sometimes yeah. you've got a lot easy. of fish. So Challenging, but... Yeah, a little bit challenging fish, yeah. but some Maser, you know, very clever fish. So yeah. Great. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. All right. As the Sariu was low and clear, we knew our best chance of a big Marcia was now in the Kali. Bye bye. We had a tough day ahead. Our plan? was to trek 14 kilometers on the Kali whilst covering some good Marcia ground. Eight kilometers, wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you see this pool here? Mm. Here about um, a big, big uh, catfish here? And do they, uh, have they been known to take people? Be yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. That's very uh, big catfish here. Yeah. This was tough going, but I knew it had to be done. Thank <laughs> you. 
Are those uh, leopard prints, Bobby? Yes. Uh, big leopard, yeah? Very good, sir. After four hours of trekking, we were ready to fish. Yeah. Keep casting, keep casting, no relax, no like yeah. 15 minutes continuous fishing. Yeah. So here, not thinking, don't cast, sometimes fish on very close. Yeah. After 20 minutes, Kainu was into a nice Marcia. It was a nice, slippery 14 pounder. It was then my turn. After 10 years, I was finally attached to the fish I had been dreaming about. It's kiting up. This is big fish. Sure big fish. Oh my god, my knees have gone to jelly. This is why we come back to India year after year. This is a good fish. I can feel it's going. Angle left. Fish is coming upstream slightly. What about my drag? I tightened it a bit. It's not super tight. Do you want to come and check? This feels a good fish. Well, I'm not too tight. Is this going to go? This feels big fish. Feels heavy. Change angle. Yeah, no, Bob, I'm asking Bob. <laughs> Change it. This feels a heavy fish. Feels a heavy fish. Leader's there. I can see the leader. He's gonna go in it. He's going. Ah! Tell you what, the take, the take was weird. I thought I bumped a rock yeah, out there. Yeah, that's a big fish, doesn't it? Yeah, it, it bumped and then it just went, oh. And, and he's not taking very fast one. Yeah. Shortly after, Kainu lost a big fish too. We fished on, but we knew that we had had our chances. The long walk back was a tough one. After yesterday's long trek, 
I decided to have an easy day in camp. Despite the loss of the big fish, I was keen to speak to Suri, our wildlife guide, about all the leopard signs we had seen during the week. So though uh, we don't really have a, have a count, you know, a particular count on how many leopards there are in the mountains here, but uh, what we've seen around, there's loads of presence of leopards. And though they're very shy in the daytime, but uh, in the night is when they really move. Uh, so just talking about generically the area here at Pancheshwar, Dharmaghat, Talanetra, all these camps, there's so much leopard movement. Last year, a stretch of just about a kilometer on the Pancheshwar camp here, we had uh, two sets of leopards, just two leopards walking completely. So literally in a week, there'd be cycles of two leopards walking by this one track. So which is just to sort of say that these might look, you know, not full of wildlife right now, but there's so much in there, uh, in, these, in these forests here. Uh, so at some point, of course, we'll be, you know, we'll try and set up uh, uh, the traps close to camp to see what happens in the night, all the action that we get. And you'd be surprised, sometimes we get some, some really, really great shots. Uh, besides that, of course, when you walk about, when you're fishing, you will see those beaches filled with bug marks all around the place. Any of these beaches you get to, Dharmaghat, again, is a great spot. That whole road, the whole beach is full of leopard action. That night, we set up some camera traps near to camp. By the morning, we'd captured an amazing shot of a leopard not 50 feet from our tents. With only two days left, I knew what had to be done for a chance at a big Marcia. We set out once again on the long trek. I think you use this one because I caught good fish, so you start with this plug, huh? I had learnt on this trip that hooking a Marcia is only half the battle. Landing these incredibly strong creatures is another. After 20 minutes in, I got the chance I was after. Fish! Fish! It's going a long way down the river! Gee whiz, that was a run! Good fish. Angle okay. Gee whiz, I've never had a run like that. Yeah, big fish. Good, good. 
Oh my word! Nice. Green. So now fish base are free. Yeah. Let's reel and take up. Take time. Oh, he's going. It's a bit of a way, okay? Yeah. That's a long way down, Bobby. It's okay, it's okay. I know it's a long, long way down. Going again? Gee whiz! These fish are so strong. This is a strong fish hooked in a heavy rapid. The danger is if it shoots downstream and goes downriver, there's a, the rapid's a kilometre long. That first run and the second run, I've never hooked anything like that. Everything has got to be spot on with this fishing. Your hooks, your split rings, your drag. And if it isn't, you're going to lose it. It's just coming up. It's just coming upstream. It's sort of mid-river, Bobby. Is that okay? This is big fish. Yeah. Big fish. Okay, so Stu. Yeah. Now you change angle. Right. Side. Yeah. Right side angle of road. Yeah. Perfect, right side. Yes. And try and get him in. Perfect, you're trying to uh, stick Eddie. And your fish come here. Yeah. Rot tip up because a lot of rocks here. Eddie, okay. Eddie, Eddie, just angle. Yeah, angle, yeah. More angle. Yes. Good fish. Right, where do you want it, Bobby? This here is okay, I'm okay. Give it to here. Ooh, the big table rocks. Yeah. This fish definitely take other one. Yeah. A little bit loose weight. Perfect. Angle, angle, angle. Yeah. Angle, angle. Tommy fish. Wheel. <sighs> Up. He's not tied properly, huh? No. Yeah, yeah. Careful, Bobby, careful. Please be careful. Let's get it in first, <laughs> Bobby. Let's give it a banana. It's a big fish, eh? <sighs> Quite upset. Give me what the new clothes got now. I can't believe it. Yeah. Bobby man. Nice, huh? It's good. You just tired, eh? Wow. Huge fish and wrong bite, huh? Very oh, I need a hook. Give us a hook. Nice. I've been, I've been waiting 10 years for this. Nice. Perfect. It's female. Yeah. Wow. That is a beauty. Oh, it's a heavy fish. Heavy fish. What a creature, the scales on it and just the colours. What a stunning carly fish. What a creature. One last look. It's stunning Himalayan Marsi. I've had a trip of a lifetime here with Bobby. Bobby's the head guide and he put us on this fish. He knows his stuff. And I owe a lot to Bobby and Canoe. Canoe was very good. Really helped us out. Oh, let's give her a breather. What a creature. Yeah. What a creature. And what a run. Okay, you release, Lily. Right, okay. Well, we're going to put this fish back. There it goes. 
Nice job. Thanks so much, Bobby. Thanks so much, Tim. Welcome. What an experience. Yeah. Can't believe it. We did it. We did it. Great fish, huh? Rob. Rob. Yeah, strong fight.